Hello guys, welcome back to a new Darkness Rises video. In this video guys, I'm gonna talk about best skills to use in team PvP and also in current brawl events so you can get more kills for each class guys, for each class, all each of the seven class. So best skills for each class to get more kills in team PvP and brawl, okay? So uh, why you want to do uh, also the brawl event well now it's easier to finish it you just need guys 30 kills so if you ignore this event okay you still have time you still have like 16 17 days left and uh, it's plenty time to get the 30 kills and with the tips that i'm gonna give you i think in one week you can claim all the rewards okay uh, for me it took me like one week and a half to get the 30 kills needed so maybe maximum two weeks should take one to two weeks should take you okay to finish if you didn't do any so far so you still have plenty of time okay uh, so let's go as you know for brawl you have the same use the same skills that use for team pvp so for example you can uh, these tips you can use also in team pvp after this event is done so still can be useful after uh, so let's start with warrior guys by the way this is my point of view uh, some people might disagree with the, the skills that I'm talking about it's from my point of view I did pretty decent as a noob because I'm not that good at PvP but I did pretty decent using these skills okay so let's go team PvP make sure you select team PvP from here so let's see guys which skills I was using and was decent i could get even up to four kills not every time but yeah okay so let's see for warrior definitely i chose the uh, breaching sword aura why because this one has a good reach so it's a skill that has uh, it's uh, the attacks have a decent reach so you can attack the target from far uh, also um, has done which is very useful uh, so yeah, definitely this one is a good one. Cool down, 60 seconds is okay. Okay, next skill, Frost Sword Aura. Another good skill, another one that uh, has a good reach. So both of these skills, I chose them because you can attack from far away. So as you know, in Team PvP, in Brawl, uh, the idea so you won't die is to stay away from us further away surprise the enemies with the attacks so you can finish for example the enemy if you see so this this can work for every class guys don't get from the start of the brawl don't get into fights try to keep your hp at max try to get the hp regen and when you see people uh, fighting each other and you see them like going down like uh, 30% 20% of their health then start using your stronger skills your long range skills and heavy damage skills like this one can you can be as finishers these two skills also another one this is for closer but also has a decent reach is not as good as a reach as these two but still has more damage this one and lower cooldown so flash lance guys and also has the debuff defense decrease so this one is another good skill that i was using in team pvp and another one is the awakened okay skill slicing sword why this one has quite a wide range okay uh, long range and also it's like a v shape in front of you and can reach quite far so i got a few kills using this skill so don't underestimate this skill it's quite quite good has a very good reach so use this one also so these are the four skills for the warrior let's move to the next class by the way let me know what skills uh, were you using and for what class okay because this is my opinion from my test for sure if i had more time i could have found maybe even better combo better skills but for now this worked pretty pretty quite okay for me for Archmage, for Archmage definitely it's a must, Lightning Grip guys, 
this one has the lowest cooldown 6 seconds guys it's insane and increases your attack speed so always start with this skill guys why you stun the target plus increases your attack speed that means you can kill the target faster and then you can use this one web trap because this one does aoe damage in a specific area plus decrease the movement speed of the target so you can finish the target because it cannot run from you another one that i was using judgment flash why has a good reach and lots of damage 624 percent as you can see so you can it's like a beam of light that you can one shot so this could be a good finisher like finish the if you see him having like 10 percent health lef uh, left maybe this one you can use this one and you don't need to be close to the target another one similar to the judgment flash is thunder ray again another ray of beam of light purple light let's call it purple light very powerful straight line same like this one long range and massive damage as you can see this does 624 at level 108 and this one 670 so i think this one this is awakens it okay this one can do more damage so i recommend these two as a finisher i recommend this one to start when you want to increase your attack speed okay and stun the target this one is aoe damage so this one you can use to kill more targets by the way because that's that's continuous damage in a specific area so definitely you can use that one okay let's move we still have plenty classes okay let the destroyer okay this is my main class come on let's see what skills I am i using come on and like i said these skills can be used also in team pvp and other uh type of group pvp uh, okay normal skills let's see team pvp so for destroyer uh definitely uh you can use they say this one play snatcher is also good but i prefer this one grapple because does aoe stun so does a stun around you for a specific uh, area okay circle area around you so this one you can stun more than one okay while this one is more like focused towards 1v1 so i prefer this one for the stuns group stun decent damage also was doing another one that's really cool guys earth shaker why has a debuff and also uh, does aoe damage so it says in you know, an area and uh, sends the enemy flying so you can mix these two for example you stun them then you go with this one another one and this one can be also used as a finisher because does lots of damage local down venom grenade uh, this one also has a debuff local down high damage so you can if you see them having like less than 10 percent hp you can finish them with this one also don't forget not just this one this one can be also quite good um so pyro bomb is also quite decent and another one that i chose that that smite why because has quite a very good reach like has uh, you can reach quite far away and does like um so <clears throat> smashes the ground and creates like a shockwave okay and sends enemy also flying so this one has super long reach it's similar to the one from the warrior so somehow so it's quite good some people i saw they were using this one because you can launch yourself towards the target but you need more precise movement for this one i prefer this one this one you can go to a group you can use it as a finisher like you see people fighting each other and you see them having lower hp you can finish them from far away so uh, you don't risk your uh, hp going down and you can still get still the kills so this is quite good also for that okay let's see next next class assassin guys 
And by the way, which of these classes you think uh, you did we better in uh, Brawl or team PvP? In Brawl, because we're talking about Brawl now. Let me know. Okay, for Assassin. So, I chose the throw dual swords. Why? Has knock, knock down, knock, knock up, okay? Sense enemy flying. Uh, and also has a very, quite a very good reach. So you can s attack from far. Another one that I was using, Dancing Blades. Because it stuns the target, does AOE damage around you and also stuns everybody that's around you. So this, when you, for example, uh, you can use this one. This one, what does? Okay, backstab. Dash towards the enemy with the double attack and stuns the target so you can start with this one then you stun you go to let's say you see people fighting low hp go with this one then you go for this one you stun them and then you can use another powerful attack you can use this one maybe okay or me i i liked also this moonlight cut it's not the best but yeah you can choose um some people are using smoke grenade. This you can use as um, damage mitigation. But I believe these three are quite good. And then you can choose another. I chose this one. Maybe it's not the best one. I like because this one because it does quite quite good damage. It's more focused towards one target and also 11 seconds cooldown. You can use also this one. Does low cooldown 9 seconds and AOE damage plus debuff. So you can use for example one, two, three. And you can do multiple kills with that one, no? Um, maybe another one. Let's see what else we have. Now high cooldown. Maybe this one. Storm Surricane. Uh, because you can this Surricane travels like has quite a long reach and massive damage. So yeah, let me know. Okay, let's move on to another class. Archer. And by the way, uh, from my point of view, the best classes that I did the best were like um, the, the Witch, the Destroyer, the Archmage, the Assassin was also decent, Warrior. Mm. Guardian also was pretty good. I don't know, the Archer should be good, but I, I don't know why I did kind of, maybe I didn't choose the, really the best skills, but yeah. Okay, let's see what skills I chose. I still did okay, but yeah, could have done better. So what I chose, guys. Um, here, team PvP. Oh, wait for I'm not sure for one second guys I think I did a mistake for the assassin did I choose the team pvp or single maybe I, I was showing the so one two three no it's okay that's what I was using <laughs> I got confused for a second I thought I I I selected the 1v1 pvp the dual skills okay archer Archer, here we go. Team PvP. So for Archer, what I chose? Definitely, I chose Windwalk because it's a very good uh, gap closer, or you can also evade the other enemies' skill. So it's a good mobility skill. So definitely, you need to use this one. It's a must always. Another two skills that uh, I believe are quite good okay so wild shot because has stun and does uh, like send multiple uh, arrows in an area a volley of arrows so is good good range decent range same for supernova also and also knocks the enemy airborne so these two they are kind of similar some way but they are quite good uh, this also has a low cooldown uh, 
another one that I maybe I should have used and would have done way better is the multi shot. So multi shot knocks the enemy back. Quite good, and I saw people annoying a lot of the um, uh, melee classes like my destroyer with this skill. Multi shot, okay? Low cooldown, decent damage. So I believe I should have chose this one. That's why I didn't do that well. So instead of this, because I chose this fireboard, this fireboard is good for range and damage. Does in a straight line, you, uh, you know, that fire damage. It's quite good for group. So you can also use this one, but or maybe I should replace uh, one of these two and keep this one with this one. Yeah, let me know how you went for this. What did you choose? So I'm sure for Archer, uh, I could have chose better ones. So let me know which ones you choose. Okay. Then, okay, this, in my opinion, the next class, which is the which was the best easiest to do the get the kills that's I, I did the most kills with this class okay so let's see what i chose okay team pvp so what i chose uh definitely the most important skill for this class two of the one is the warp gate because it's stun group stun really cool also does lots of damage and this stun lasts forever almost and another huge damage and finisher you can use uh, that beam destruction gaze sends like beam of, uh, of energy it's very cool with this one i killed a lot of people so this is a really cool one uh, also other skill gap closer stinging lance also has a debuff defense decrease 706 percent damage it's a lot a lot a lot of damage you do this one so you can stun them go for this one also does defense decrease uh, then you can go maybe either for this one finisher or you can stun them again let's see uh, which are the other skill so i used also this one dominator also has stun so you have two these two both are stunning the enemy so yeah and also has um, like group damage does group damage maybe it's not the best maybe you can replace with a better one but uh, was pretty okay this setup so these were the four skills that i was using some they also choose this one also has stun so instead of this one maybe you should choose this one try this one that grip stuns like you grab from far away the target they don't even expect and another tip guys don't ever go to the top of the map because you don't have you cannot see the enemy coming always stay at the bottom of the map because you can see all the people above you and they cannot see you that's a huge advantage advantage of su surprise attacks that's how you can do more uh, that's how you can stay alive and also get more kills steal kills from the others so <laughs> that's the strategy okay let's see to the let's go to the last class because the video is already too long the guardian guardian of the galaxy let's see so for this one as you know two skills they are super good one is the pool has group stun pretty good one and then the best damage dealer AOE damage that from above huge damage okay then another one that's really cool long reach actually there are two with long reach i'm gonna show you both earth rent okay this one creates a shock wave sends enemy airborne and it's good it's good for group because you can do damage to a lot of players you can use also as a finisher or you can use this one because this one is massive damage after you stun them and another one that you can also surprise the enemy from far away you can also use as a finisher or knock the enemy also movement speed decrease nine second cooldown this some damage i didn't level it up but i'm sure that higher level has does more damage uh, volt cannon okay volt cannon it's quite quite nice definitely you can use other skills but these are the ones that i picked 
let me know which are the ones you picked for what class so anyways guys let me know and see you next time with another video bye